I'm in a weird spot that is not my house because I'm a Paige's house. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm doing something fun for the next two months TBRs. Uh, I am stealing my two booktube besties TBR games and using them for myself. So for the month of April, we are using Kara's from Bianca Reads. We're using her game, which is Monopoly Deal. And so I've already done the draws for it while I was at Kara's house. How do I explain? It's a fast paced Monopoly card game where you try and get sets of houses and you also have money. Check out Kara's introduction video for more information. That was a beautiful introduction. <laughs> Yay. So basically you just play until you get a set. And all of the cards have prompts allocated to them. So we'll start off with the first card pick. Card one. Oh. Ooh. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> can be a miss. <laughs> So that can be either a 2020 backlist okay. or a 2019 release. So the first one, the challenge is mm -hmm. yes. The challenge is nye, nye, nye. The challenge is to read a book you bought in 2020 or a 2019 release. And I am going for a book. I didn't buy it myself, I was sent it, but I'm going with The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, I was sent this by the publisher and I'm really excited to read it because I loved this author's series, uh, The Naturals. Oh my gosh, it was so good. But this is about a girl who inherits like this mansion, but other people in the family are like, why is this random girl being chosen to inherit our family's mansion? And then there are these games in the mansion. I don't even know. It sounds great. So, um, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook of that. Oh, money. So we leave that up here. Okay. Oh, what oh. one is it? It is Leicester Square. Next uh, is a queer contemporary. I'm going to read The Black Flamingo by Dean Adder. I'm so excited to finally get around to reading this. Um, my friend Whitney actually sent this to me. This is Paige's copy, my copy's at home. But I was sent this for Christmas. Thank you so much, Whit. Love you. I'm so excited. It is a book told in verse about a queer black boy. That's all I know. Um, maybe something to do with drag. I have heard amazing things about this. I can't wait to read it. Also, it's illustrated, which is delightful. Oh, I rent. You don't have anything to apply it to at the moment. It counts as money. Ta-da. And same as that, yeah. Because that's not any of the colors we've got property on. Oh, Coventry what? Street. Coventry Street was a hard-hitting contemporary. I'm going to tackle a book that's on my NetGalley TBR. I'm going to read Transcendent Kingdom by Yar Jesse. This is the author of Homegoing, which is one of my favorite books of all time. I honestly have no idea what it's about. I just knew that I wanted to read anything that this author comes out with, so I requested it. Um, it's probably going to be about uh, the Black Experience. Uh, Homegoing was set mainly in Ghana. I'm not sure about this one, so we shall see. More money. Yes. Who's that? It's my birthday. That's a reread. That's a new one I've had. Oh! Next, I got It's My Birthday. Um, which is a reread. So I'm going to be re-listening to King of Scars by Lee Bardugo in preparation for Rule of Wolves, which comes out at the end of March, because I can't remember a single thing that happens in that book, other than the thing that happens at the end, uh, which is a big spoiler. So yeah, I'm gonna have to reread that, but I'm gonna listen to the audiobook. Um, Sly Deal is you can switch out any of the prompts for a free book. Okay. So save that till the end. Okay. Black? Which black oh is Oh my it? god, this is gonna be so bad! <laughs> it won't be, I promise. I think that every time. What what one was it? Mary LeBron? Is a new to you author. Okay. I have it as a new to you author that's a 2020 release, but mm. you could just do. Next is a 2020 release from a new to me author, and I'm going to be reading Legend Born by Tracy Dion. I'm so excited. Everyone's been loving this book and been comparing it to like Shadow Hunters, kind of. 
I think it's like inspired by Arthurian legend, but I'm really keen for it. Um, I am going to listen to the audiobook of this one as well because audiobooks are what gets me through my TBRs these days. <laughs> I'm getting all the different ones. Um, so that's a middle grade or an other, okay. uh, which is a Kindle or a TBR. Entering. Okay, next we got a wild card and the prompts were to read a middle grade or a book on your Kindle or a TBR veteran and I decided to go with a middle grade. I'm going to be listening to Exile by Shannon Messenger, which is the second book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. I loved the first book, so I'm keen to just continue on with the series and see where it goes. Oh, here we go. Is that another It's Your Birthday? Yes. Is it your birthday again? You get a second reread. Next, I picked out It's My Birthday again, but Kara was like, you can use this as a do whatever you want. Or I can't remember what she said. I can't remember. An ah. action card. Huh? One of the action cards. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they are though. Yeah, I can't remember. And I haven't edited the roll drops. Um, so yeah, I decided not to do my second reread challenge because I don't really have any other books that I want to reread right now. So yeah, we're not doing that. Oh my God. Purple. Paul Mall. Paul Mall. High fantasy adult. Next I got Paul Mall, which is an adult high fantasy. I'm going to be reading White Sand by Brandon Sanderson. This is the next uh, Sanderson Cosmia thing that Kara and I are buddy reading. We are buddy reading one every month to catch up. I said in a recent video that we were reading Warbreaker in April, which was a lie. I'm sorry. We're reading that in May. So yeah, White Sand comics. I'm excited. Pass go. Ah, uh, that's you draw an extra card at the end. <gasps> which orange is it? Bow Street. Bow Street. That's a low fantasy YA. Next is Bow Street, read a low fantasy YA, and I'm going to be listening to Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho, which is the companion novel to uh, Gamit, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Wicked Fox. Wow, my brain. Um, I'm excited. It's uh, set in Korea, set in Seoul, um, inspired by Korean mythology. The first book was great. And this one focuses on two of the side characters in the first book. So. I don't know the intricacies of the plot itself, but I just know that I want to read it. So I'm going to. And what do I do with the money? At the end we add love and you get bonus ones if there's any if you've got less or more money than you have. Okay. Bronx. Money. And we've got Northumberland Avenue. Northumberland Avenue. Next we got Northumberland. Uh, read an adult science fiction and this is perfect because I am dying to read The Galaxy and the Ground Within by Becky Chambers. <laughs> Pages screaming silently in the background. This is the beautiful fairy loot edition. Oh my lordy. Um, yeah, this is the fourth book in the Wayfarers series. I am unbelievably excited for this. Oh, so good. And this also doubles up because I'm doing books and la la la's year-long buzzword-a-thon challenge and the buzzword for April is galaxy terms and this literally has the word galaxy in the title so yay okay next is wild no that's it you're done you've got three yellows <gasps> yay <laughs> okay count up your oh and then we have to draw one more card for your oh yeah pasco. okay more money and now you count your money. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus two rent action cards. So eight, nine. And you have 11 things on your prompts, so you don't need to add anything for money. Okay. But you got 11 prompts. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. It's 11, and two of them are rereads. Okay. And some of them are free pick. You, you get to apply your free pick to whatever you want. So if one of the prompts you don't like, you can just free pick it. Okay, cool, 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 yeah. cool. And the last prompt that I got um, is another wild card, but this one you could pick between a contemporary, a romance, a historical, a mystery, or a thriller. And I went with romance, and I'm finally going to be reading Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert, which is the third book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. I'm so freaking excited for this. 
these are fantastic, diverse, wonderful romances um, with healthy relationships. We love to see it. And I can't wait. This is going to be incredible. There are a few other things that are coming out that I'm like, maybe, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit them in or not. I am going to be staying at my parents' house until mid-April. So, yeah, a lot of the books are going to be audiobooks and Kindle books. <laughs> Um, but we'll see how we go. Thank you, Kara, for letting me borrow your game. It was so fun. You can check out Kara's Monopoly Deal TBR series. I'll leave a link somewhere. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in a new one. Goodbye. <laughs>